Mahmoud Vaizi, you're the Minister for Communications and Information Technology in Iran. Uh, how important is ICT to the Iranian government? As you know, ICT now is a, a driving forces for the economy and for the development, not just in Iran, in every country. Um, fortunately, my government and also my parliament pay highly attention to the <coughs> developing the ICTs in my country. And we look at the ICT in the two different uh, versions. One, uh, ICT uh, helping the government as an e-government as a e-learning, as a e-commerce and e-health. And also, at the same time, we believe that the ICT is the part of the life of our people. And somehow we should uh, go look at to invest more in this field and also uh, developing the broadband. So I believe that uh, right now every part of the country, not in the big cities, <coughs> the people <coughs> desire to use uh, high-speed internet and also w wideband, broadband uh, cases. And also, we think that so far, since we have uh, one operator for the 3G, in next three months, we will issue the license for the uh, 3G and 4G for the two other operators that right now are working. Now, Iran's a very diverse country, um, urban centers, a lot of people in rural areas, uh, different languages. Uh, how, how much progress are you making towards bridging the digital divide? Well, uh, up to now, we have about uh, 58,000 villages. And we took the telephone uh, to the, all the villages uh, they living more than 15 family and we have a plan to cover up to next year the whole uh, villages the rest of them should be less than 10 or some of them is less than five it's very small and also we start to uh, take the internet to all the villages since last three months, uh, we covered uh, 6,500 rural area for the uh, high-speed internet. And hopefully, uh, up to end of this year, this will be 15,000. And we are trying, to, uh, in next two or three years, we cover all the villages and rural area for the high-speed internet. So lots of uh, ambitious plans for Iran, but in the context of the WESIS process uh, of international collaboration, 2015 is an important year for WESIS. Uh, what do you hope to see at next year's event? Well, uh, I believe that uh, information technology is changing rapidly. And this is the technology that uh, all the governments and all the people and private sectors are involving. My desire is uh, somehow uh, we should have uh, some, kind, some kind of the regulation and policy that uh, everybody and all countries enjoying this technology. And uh, somehow uh, this technology uh, uh, facilitate the life of the people 
and the role of the governments and of the private sector is to supporting this. Well, Minister, thank you very much and we look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you very much.